Hello guys, welcome to Kings Talk Biz Talk. This is a channel where we talk about business. We give you insights about businesses. We talk everything revolving the world of businesses. And we teach you on how to do biz basic business startup and as well as manage your business. I hope you will learn a thing or two. And my name is Emma. And my name is Patrick. And today we have another topic that is going to be talking about you guys dancers. The last video that we did concerning dancers was about how to make money as a yeah, dancer. Yeah, how to make money as a dancer. Yeah, and people asked how you can prepare for a competition because a lot of competitions have prize money. Yeah. So we are going to be discussing that. So, so you have to get the mula. Yes, get, get that money. money. Yeah. yeah. So the first point that we are going to be discussing on how you can win and win every competition mm -hmm. that you do is prepare before the competition, of yeah. course. And when I say prepare before the competition, a lot of you guys will think like, ah, the competition is next week, so I need to prepare now. Okay. No, it's actually you can prepare. The least that you can do to make sure that you win the competition is to prepare maybe a month earlier. Mm -hmm. You need to prepare for the, for the competition. Some people even prepare for more than one month yeah. earlier. They the, do three months earlier. Yeah, a month is the least that you can do. Yeah. And when we talk about preparation, so they say uh, practice makes perfect. Yeah. So when you when you keep on practicing, it will, the, the, the synchrony will get into your body yeah, and yeah. you will be able to not forget. You know, I have, you know, I have seen people mm -hmm. in the stage, in the stage, they are on the stage and they don't remember yeah. some of the basic moves they yeah. did. Mm -hmm. And you see, if you see someone forget how to do a move, mm -hmm. it's because that they have not done, done it, enough practice. Enough practice. Mm -hmm. it, so when you practice a move, it there's some, it's yeah, it's some, something called muscle memory. When you practice a move enough times. You don't have to think about the move. Yeah. Your body already have consumed the move. Mm -hmm. So when you do a certain movement, your you body already is know the next the one. Next one. Yeah. yeah. But if you, if you have done it three days before the competition, oh my God, you will forget. I'm sorry, but you're not get, getting the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second point is picking a song. Yeah. So and when when you're talking about picking a song, don't pick a song that everyone knows. It, this is a competition, it's yeah. not a showcase. Mm -hmm. So it's actually important to pick a song that less people know it and it's a little bit relatable to the topic about the competition. So it's about being unique. Yeah, it's about being unique. Just pick a song that is unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe people have never even heard of. <clears throat> Don't pick a song that is trending on TikTok. Yeah. 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 And when you say about picking a song, I think you also need to pick a song that has emotions yeah. or some a song that you can relate in. Mm -hmm. Relate with so that when you're dancing, you can be able to synchronize those emotions with yeah. you and you can be able to present them, and that gives you a, t a tip and a point. And the adjudicators actually they love people with emotions, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I say pick a song, mm -hmm. actually, I can add something here. Mm -hmm. Let's say there is a song that everyone knows, mm -hmm. maybe it's trending at the moment, mm -hmm. maybe it's a TikTok dance or a TikTok trend. The song is trending at the moment, but in a competition, you don't want to do that song, mm -hmm. but. You can actually pick a song that nobody has ever heard. Then maybe for three seconds you can put the song that everyone mm -hmm. knows. Yeah. yeah, just to entertain. Like a jumpster. Yeah, like a jumpster. Okay. Yeah. And the third point that I'm going to be discussing is energy. So a lot of you guys know energy is very key to Dancing. winning a competition. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and actually engaging with the crowd. Mm -hmm. And if you I'll tell you this, maybe you don't know, but how judges do, one of the judges is the crowd. Mm -hmm. So if you can be able to relate the crowd to the crowd mm -hmm. and entertain them, mm -hmm. yeah, the judges will consider the crowd is the other judge. So if you can be able to entertain the crowd, mm -hmm. you have So I think energy, energy actually wins. And I can't imagine you are in a dance competition and you're dancing like you don't have, you have not eaten for three days. No, no one will love your dance. A member of the choir. Okay, like you're dancing just like this. And you expect to win, that, that is not happening. Happen. Yeah. Because there is your competitor mm. who is doing workout mm -hmm. and dancing all day to gain energy. So you don't stand a chance against them. So make sure you are energetic. Mm -hmm. The fourth point that we are going to be discussing is watch the video of the song. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have picked a song. Yeah. And maybe, maybe one of the judges knows the song, but you don't know even what the song is. So when you watch the video, you are... You are, you are when you watch the video, you are able to get the picture of what the song is talking about. Yeah, you're even able to relate with the emotions. If the 
person was singing, maybe let's say it's a love song, mm -hmm. and that person was singing about a heartbreak. Yeah. When you watch that video, you're able to understand how this, this person feels, mm -hmm. felt at that time, yeah. and you're able to translate these feelings mm -hmm. into, into the dance, and this will give you a bonus tip. Yeah. yeah, so I'm imagining for this case, maybe it's a song that is not even your language mm -hmm. and you don't understand. Yeah. But then, because the song is hyped, mm -hmm. it's talking about maybe energy. Yeah. But if you watch the video, you notice that it's talking maybe about someone that died. Yeah. And maybe you are. And you, you are put the song and <laughs> you are, It's a sad song, and then you're very happy. Yeah. And then it's gonna look like. You, you don't, don't even understand what you're Yeah, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and the last point that we're going to be discussing is wear comfortable and unique clothes. So yeah. this is where we we have a, a, a confusing element yeah. because we say we, we are comfortable and unique. And unique. Yeah. So when I say comfortable, make sure it's something that, that you can dance with. And when I say unique, I don't mean that you come with metallic clothes mm -hmm. or those Superman clothes. Yeah, because you still need to them. consider that you need to be comfortable. Yeah, yeah moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So imagine like you are in a stage and Let's say, let's say one, one point that you need to consider when you're talking about being in unique clothes and in comfortable clothes, mm -hmm. you need to wear clothes that align to the vision yeah. or to whatever you want to present, yeah, yeah. what you want your audience to get. Mm -hmm. Then if you have a story, that, let's say you, your, your dance has a story to tell, yeah. if you can decide if you're talking about being a beggar, you think about which kind of clothes we re well represent yeah, being yeah. a beggar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, 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 don't come with, uh, you don't come up with a thing about the song, mm -hmm. being a beggar, mm -hmm. and you come up wearing a tuxedo and a Versace suit. Yeah, unless it was yeah. relevant. Are you making, yeah. Unless it was relevant to yeah. the song. Yeah. 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 So but yeah. generally, you can be able to judge and know which kind of outfit should I wear, and mm -hmm. how, does it, how well does it go in hand with yeah. whatever I'm dancing. Yeah. Yeah. So these details, make sure you look at them mm -hmm. and digest them. These are going to be helping you in your dancing careers mm -hmm. and winning competition and getting the money. Mm -hmm. So we also offer some courses in how you can become a choreographer and earn money in dancing, mm -hmm. choreography. Mm -hmm. So make sure you visit our website, www.finstockuniversity.com. And, and these courses are very affordable. Very affordable, yeah. yeah. Very affordable. So make sure you visit. Yes. Make sure at the end of this video you like, comment and subscribe. Hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you can be notified. And if you have a dance experience or a way or you have a comment or uh, regarding the topic how to stand out in a dance competition, if you have a unique style of doing or you have a unique point or something that you can help, uh, you can state and it will help others, make sure to, comment, to leave it in the comment section and we really appreciate. Yeah. Until, Until next time. time. Goodbye.